Well, hello civilians. Welcome back to our channel. And today we will be talking about the 10 mistakes that you should avoid as an entrepreneur while you're building your next startup. So let's begin. And today we will be continuing with our 7th point. And the 7th point is not adapting quickly. Now every person has the ability to do things in a personally unique way. Generally it's also known as a habit. Since we are all so accustomed to our own habits in our everyday routines, we have a very hard time changing them or doing something that's not in our routine. This phenomena follows some entrepreneurs to their professional lives as well. When they start a business, they do it in a particular way. Although it's not wrong to do things in your own particular way, but the main problem lies ahead when you hit a roadblock. Some entrepreneurs become so accustomed to doing their business activities in the same manner over and over again that when they require a shift in their business, they simply fail to make a shift. What we really mean here is that the world is constantly evolving at the speed of light. And today we live in the technological era where you might have heard quotes like adapt or perish or survival of the fittest. These quotes fit perfectly in today's time because we are witnessing technological advancements in a fast and furious way. We can see companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX battling it out for space travel and exploration. 20 years ago, no one ever thought that humans will ever have a chance of traveling to space via commercial space trips, experience anti-gravity, take a selfie in space, come back to Earth and show it off on social media and then brag about going to outer space to everyone. For the general public, it will be a reality in the upcoming 5-10 to 10 years because once again humanity is set to take a huge leap forward and this time it's being done under the leadership of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk and Richard Branson. Same is the case with Google and Apple. They both offer their respective operating software as a complete ecosystem for smartphones and after their introduction, the smartphone industry has seen a rise in the level of technology which makes current generation smartphones the best that we have ever seen or used. But this also makes them obsolete in just one or two years because of all the latest updates. If you don't update your device constantly, then your device might not support their latest ecosystem offerings. We live in the 21st century today and people frequently update their surroundings just so that they can match up with the rest of the world. When you are ready to update nearly everything around you, then why aren't you updating yourself? Some entrepreneurs argue that a particular method has brought them millions of dollars in the past few years. But what they fail to recognize is that what previously worked for them will not work in the future. We have seen multi-billion dollar companies collapse, billionaires go bankrupt, and investors losing tons of money just because they couldn't keep up with the fast pace of technological change around them. Our piece of advice to you is, no matter how much you are tempted to work in the old way or have the temptation to remain the same, always invest in learning about what's happening in your industry, what the future holds for you, who's building what, and make it a habit to update and upgrade yourself on a consistent basis. You must be liberal in your approach and adapt very quickly even if you have to change a major way on how you run your business. Successful entrepreneurs are never afraid to change. They always embrace change, take the jump in the learning curve, and they even get the most of it. Hence, being liberal and adapting quickly ensures their survival in the long run, and it will also ensure your survival in the long run. Now, the eighth point is not thinking win win. Now, you must have played many games when you were young. In a game between two people, if one person will win, then the other person will definitely lose. This is normally how a game is played. Two people participate, one is the winner and one is the loser. But in the game of business, both players can win at the same time. When you start a business, you think that you need to win anyhow, anyway, and starting a business with this type of thinking can harm you because business is a completely different sport. Business is a sport that doesn't play by your rules. What if I told you that, in business, a person doesn't need to lose in order for the other to win? Business is a game where two people can win at the same exact time. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is a win-win situation? Well, as the name suggests, a win-win situation is a situation where neither person loses, both of them win. How is that exactly possible? Well, let me explain. Now you might have come across an offer many times while shopping that if you purchase for a certain amount of money, then you will get a good discount. This is a good example of a win-win situation. In such a situation, the business owner wants you to make a transaction of a higher amount and in return he will give you a fat discount. 
This makes both parties win as you will buy more than what you normally would have and spend money out of your pocket. But at the same time you will also be given a good discount upon your purchase which you wouldn't have received in the first place. It's really strange but at the end of the day neither of any parties lost. The business owner made you spend more but you also got a good discount. Hence if you want to become a successful entrepreneur then you have to think like one. Think about how you and someone who is involved in your business can win together. Thinking this way will allow you to win on more and more occasions. The people who are actually successful aren't greedy for success. They want everyone to win with them as long as the long term vision isn't compromised. In business if you can collaborate and work together with a common goal in mind then you can produce exceptional results and achieve the unthinkable. Hence try to think how you can create a win win situation where all the parties involved can win together and shoot for even bigger goals in the future. Whenever I am in a negotiation I personally don't like to go too hard or push a person to the extreme. I try to meet in the middle and come up with a number where both the parties involved are comfortable. It's because I can have more deals with the same person in the future if I focus on building and nurturing a relationship first. This will automatically create a win win situation and I will reap massive rewards in the future. Now to keep this video short and simple we will simply end here and in the next video we will discuss about the last two mistakes that you must avoid as an entrepreneur. Well that was it for today's video. Now if you really liked our content then please like, comment, share and subscribe. It's your likes that motivate us to make more content just for you. And do follow us on Instagram because our community of like minded people is growing bigger day by day. So thanks for being with us until the end. We'll see you in the next one and thank you.